scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. So Father, we dedicate this moment, very precious moment to you. I thank you for your people, the workers in this ministry, the leaders in this ministry, all those connected to this ministry the financial partners who have lifted our hands through their seats and sacrifices those who have labored in secret and in open to see your glory come i pray oh god that you bless them let no man go unrewarded receive all the glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you thank you spiritual intelligence I didn't meet the testimonies but I heard everyone rejoicing so I want to believe they were powerful testimonies let me just say something before we get to the word um, thank you so much for not only believing in the ministry for believing in me and what God is doing in my life I know that you love me I know that you believe me you believe in the anointing thank you so much for your partnership but then I just want to say two things very quickly. Number one, I want you to trust the things you are learning here. Praise the Lord. Um, while we were on our way back from the trip, my mind was on the meeting and I was just thinking, there are very anointed men and women of God in this place who I would have easily just called and said, look, I'm so tired, I'm worn out, please can I rest? have a crusade tomorrow and say look let me just rest bless the people of God by God's grace we're connected to very anointed and blessed people that love me and believe in what God is doing and I could easily just call them and say look come and be a mighty blessing to the people of God I don't do these things by myself just because I am not replaceable that's not the idea there is a picture that the lord has shown me about what he wants us to become are we together now every teaching listen carefully every truth that you hear being shared here was not emotionally fabricated to keep ministry going i wish you understand what goes in to bring every word here I preach an average of two to four messages every week it is hard work to prepare a message very hard work are we together aside from the prayers the preparation the physical constraint the research etc I do these things because there is something God is making us become please I want to encourage everyone don't just believe in me and love me and trust me which I greatly appreciate but submit yourself to the things you are learning these keys will make you become something there is an end some of us by the grace of god are already tasting of this mold we're already seeing how much our lives are becoming some of us are just catching up and others have tested of this for a while but i want to encourage you every series every teaching just follow them 
the way they are don't try to tamper with any equation you are giving be that childlike and watch something happen in your life are we together i think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it archbishop benson idahosa said um you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing and you see the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now after years of wasting your time you will find out that the bible calls it shadow boxing but the apostle said we have not taught you cunningly devised fables the things you are learning here are not my ideas they are older than me the truths that come here represent the wisdom of god you hear me sing that song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river there are people who have crossed this river we are not trying to invent something new there's nothing about the anointing that is new there's nothing about generational impact that is new so i want to encourage us pay attention to these things don't get so familiar and then don't listen no open up your heart don't just write don't just say amen don't just fall down don't just roll believe it receive it in your heart and be diligent be diligent to apply it listen i give you one guarantee let me tell you this and i've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what i'm telling you believe me there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of god and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance please i like you to lift your voice in one minute and Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. It is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit. You hear me repeat some of these things again and again. Your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what christ has done is proof 
that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the Lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um, it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that I believe that the Lord wants to burn in our heart number two God is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign second God is almighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 media let's work together Deuteronomy 10 17 you will never be able to obey God listen carefully you will never be able to do the giant things that the Lord desires from you fulfill purpose an assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of God you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that God is not mighty he is all mighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't I'll just read alone one to read for the Lord your God is God of gods a mighty and an awesome God who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it bribe it says for the lord your god is what god of i've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all-surpassing excellency so he says this lord your god that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this god that we serve is not just the best option of the many he is the only option available there are so many people who cannot obey god today there are so many people who cannot believe god so many pastors businessmen family people are unable to receive the instructions of God are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their Bibles they do not know how mighty and how great God is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty mighty Savior he can move the mountains listen to this song my God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. He's the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. There is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of. No. 
I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is. The reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that he is mighty. Listen, look at this. Come, Sam. If, if I tell Sam, I will buy you a car tomorrow, he will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me. Is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will? If he receives a testimony of my ability, Sam will now stand and say, I can believe you. Is that true? If I, if I say right now, everyone in Koinonia, just be listening to me, welfare department, go and buy minerals, just pass it around. You will never look and say, Apostle, don't deceive us. How much is minerals? Are we together? So it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able. Now, if I say, everybody just sit down, we're going to pass car keys around. You will say, Amen. But what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine. So when God says, I will bless you, your understanding of him will judge what he has said. And you say, Lord, I trust you, but it's well. I, you have a track record of fooling men. God is almighty. So God can speak to you and say, son, do this, do that. Let me tell you something. God never gives you instructions based on your ability. He speaks to you as though he's talking to himself. So don't be surprised to hear how, how challenging his instructions will come. When God speaks to you, he speaks to himself. So he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him. Are we together? It's up to you by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful. That was the testimony of Abraham. The Bible says Abraham, although he was an hundred years, he counted God faithful. And so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief. One day God will stand up and say, son, it's time to build a big cathedral. Son, it's time to do this. I will be stupid to stand and say, God, don't, don't disappoint me. No, no. I have made promises to people as a man. And I've seen how they just rejoiced. Oh, I will give you 10 naira. I will help you to pay your school fees. And they jump. I've not given them any money. Didn't give them any check. They just started jumping around. What if I change my mind? You don't think I will. So you are happy. Our unbelief is proof we do not know God is almighty. So when he told you you will marry, you are still asking him questions. Lord, can't you just give me date and let two of us rest? <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know, do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. No. When he's in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason, no reason, no reason. This is the revelation that is responsible for confidence. When you see people move around, it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able. Looking at the great things that God has done today, ENI is not six years. It's just Koinonia that is six years. The meeting here. But even at this, it is still a humbling experience. Watching the things that God has done by His grace. Seeing the many things. Seeing His word come to pass. Do you believe Him? Do you truly believe God? Don't tell me you believe God until you know that He is mighty. Not just that he's mighty, he's willing to hold your hands. When a man is willing to help you, and you know that person has capacity to help you, you trust him. The word trust is from the word bata. is best described, Pastor Alpha's son, 
is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did god ever tell you he's tired of holding you did god ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him god is not moses the keeper of israel the bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe god you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the the the, the way we act shows we don't trust him i believe him that's the song he's able he's able he's able to bless you he's able to keep you he's able to bring his word to pass in your life god is almighty he's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it no he didn't store the power somewhere else he's not signing like a check like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer no he's almighty no man voted him into power listen he doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it the bible says once have i spoken twice have you heard uh-huh help me that all 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth kabaratoshia the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to god know this listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me i thank god i've taught you about the gift of men i've taught you about the ministry of men but god cursed be i the day i will leave god to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life i have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir i judge him faithful i can tell you i want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from someone from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich will i marry will i have children how many will my pregnancy stay will i die will a plane crash will a car jam me all those things are results hear me will crowds come for my meeting what if they get angry one day and don't like me again those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty god is I sing that song again savior he can move the mountains 
My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of eni the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something hey, Jimmy, come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now i remember clearly i told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and i think he thought we we're joking and we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't mm -mm. So when it was time to pray you would just choose at random you didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person are we together now and i remember very clearly ejimi then and jakes when i started saying all those things ejimi got troubled one time and he said come on let's let's really find out are we going to how you know trying to find out i hope this anointing works i hope those devils are going to be cast out i remember I hope you can remember. I remember one of the, the first day of the crusade. Two of our ladies, they now went to meet a woman. You remember the story? They went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb. You know, they came with all the zeal, had received impartation. We had fasted our lives. I mean, we're looking like skeletons. And then the ladies now laid hands, you know, oh God, you spoke to Joshua Selman. And I'm telling you, that woman was just looking like this. No miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied so yes <laughs> a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day i just got angry i said okay you people have tried look this woman let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here see you know why i'm telling you this and why i called him it was faith i remember while we were preparing for the crusade he took his computer his personal computer he was the only one who had a computer then not a laptop a big screen computer he took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade 
sacrifices why because we knew God was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastors conference it was a wonderful time people sowed some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god everybody shout but god thank you jimmy i love you god bless you but god when you bring god into the equation the calculation changes you have to know that i had fainted the bible says but god but god the psalmist said if the lord had not been our help now may israel say if the lord had not been our help listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor Every other thing should come but God. The trouble should come but God. When you add God to the equation, the calculation changes. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. One of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results. Responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in God based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that I know I do not have the rent but God is faithful I don't know how it will happen but one thing I know is this God will help me he said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead i understand but god is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have vowed that because i became a christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. He says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say, but I'm more intelligent than you. Why is your life making progress? Because I, I kept, I didn't add God. I put him in front of me. There are many arrogant people believing they, they do every calculation by themselves. Then they say, God, where are you? Just come and join the queue. Some of us have learned. We put God in front and we foolishly follow. Foolishly follow. If he moves this way wherever we are we turn back and say god let's keep going he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake he said yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death what will happen i shall fear no evil why not because i'm masculine for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me then he says thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over do you trust god do you believe god is a little teaching but let me tell you something your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in god no matter how hard working you are a day will come the only person you can cry to I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all have ever 
journey of life is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. If God cannot lift this ministry, I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe. No. He said, which of you by worrying can add one cubit? One cubit. One strand of hair. Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty, God is almighty. In, my in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Uh, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable, hey, dependable God.
worthy to be praised. Beautiful for all situations. soon sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle you the shame and reproach. I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and delay, the lack of results and lack of progress. My God can handle you. I do not fear. My God can handle you. You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow. Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him. I believe him. You know, we when Ogun we came in, um, left this morning, and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down, I kept seeing different camps, prayer camps belonging to different ministries, and I thought for a while. One day, all of them were in their rooms, and God came to them and said, "I will make you great. Do you believe me?" And they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak english but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please i want you to burn this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of god i like angel michael when they started fighting with lucifer over the body of moses this is what he said he said i will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the lord i invoke a power greater than me the lord 
you've been trying to fight many battles on your own it will soon kill you there are some battles that will eat you up on your own there are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves i'm brilliant i'm not daft you will soon die the the visit the reality of the economy will swallow you up you better humble yourself and say lord lead me i'm not ashamed to declare that i do not know if you don't lead me the bible says trust in the lord with all your heart proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 6 says and lean not on your own understanding right it says in all your ways verse 6 now acknowledge him and he will make straight your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes he says fear the lord and turn away depart all this do you know why many people don't trust god this macho man bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak english your confidence is not because you think you look good <sighs> there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when god speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when god speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding I'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take God away that is a a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are You're an awesome Number three Ready? The third key Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role 
is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt. Uh -huh, listen. Diligently hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord. Thy God. To observe. Pay attention. Then number two. To do. All his commandments. Which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee. On high. Above all nations of the earth. Verse two. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shall hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shall hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor is the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear i know the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future an unexpected end i know that something is wrong i can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be god no 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 i know his ways it's not a mystery i know there are challenges i know there is a fullness of affliction i know there are seasons but i also know that the times are in the hands of god he said until the word of the lord came to him the word of the lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of god with man you don't suffer forever no sir understand the ways of god so that you don't sit down giving god thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce i won't sit down and say it's the will of god he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of god that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck i'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of god everyone say i have a role 
say it loud I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if i leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day god wants to change i know my god he will arise you know your god but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you God will deliver me. You people should just keep watching. No. There is what you must do. Good master, what shall I do to be saved? That's why the man was rich. What shall I do? He knew he had a role to play. Not all God save me. That's what the other guy said on the cross. We are here. It's true. We are thieves. But what did you even say? And Jesus looked at him. The other one said, look, we are sinners. Lord, we take responsibility. Say, you, you will be with me this day. In paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility I I detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise is up to God in partnership with my cooperation still on this point I want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what i'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about God is he clarifies what role you have to play Moses stretch forth your rod it is a Moses just do whatever you want to do I'm just there no stretch forth your rod Jericho Joshua tell the people to go around Jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific role proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with god but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in God. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's look at it. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's turn it from here for time's sake. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Then he says, and with all thy getting, do what? Get understanding. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Wisdom tells you to cook. Understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients. Wisdom tells you you have a great destiny. Understanding tells you the path to take. That's why he says, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same 
a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction i'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when i tell you let's walk together and we get to a place i say okay move with me that's guidance the word of god both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so god shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think it's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock i tell you who are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have results is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience Tithing does not mean you love God. Tithing just means you are obedient. Because an exact figure was given to you. So I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed. And then light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works. Now, on the strength of that understanding, when I lift a song, I'm lifting that song from an understanding. That understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song. And you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding. Never do things because people are doing it. Spend time to seek knowledge and understanding. Then you take an enlightened step. Take an enlightened step. Everybody is doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated alienated from the life of God through ignorance alienated from the life of God through ignorance through ignorance through ignorance are we together yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be working in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know I'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action 
but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and the spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business. I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results. I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it. You see, enlightenment is very powerful. Because when you are moving in darkness, you don't even know. And so you keep trying. This is not working. But I fasted 30 days. I thought at the end of 30 days, an angel will appear to me and say, from this day, I give you a mantle. Receive it. You collect it and, and nothing happens. And yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power. You've got to find out. It's not just in saying the power of God is moving. It's not just in saying this and that and that. No. As I passed Lagos about an expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the, part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. He's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. 
and humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study. Follow them, the Bible says, who through faith and patience obtain, not are obtaining, they have obtained the promise. Hallelujah. Run away from ignorance. Run away from it. Start acting blindly. Don't just act emotionally. The moment you panic, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Honestly, Holy Ghost fire. In these demons you are hearing, Holy Ghost. You don't know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does. You don't even know whether it exists. You don't even know whether the blood of Jesus is there and what it should have. So you are just praying, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Blood of Jesus. It will never, I refuse to believe it. Then you start crying. Even you, you know you didn't believe what you said. Because at the end, you just start, stop praying and say, God, is this how you leave me? May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John 5 19. It says, And we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lie it it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rug a carpet then it says 
the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology Kai, this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence i have factored in my life that every day of my life until jesus comes somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go so only god knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while i'm sleeping only god knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me i don't mean to insult your civilization but i'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what i'm telling you mm. the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask joe Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters i can look at a life and know that this life is under attack i have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs>
yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by Jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in pastor Alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with Satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now I know your life is under attack by your prayer life I see it you don't need a word of knowledge I know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you I see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you Peter Peter Satan desire to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren I look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today I'm a man you talk to me I slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again Femi me I said I will help you call this person for me did I say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look I can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place I have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years Zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of God like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them 
after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you're being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how he would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords who is like when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy i want you to know that hell is about to break his bank over you and that is the time to arise before the throne there is the cross and you must know how to fight your way to victory this is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us this is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero 
if you have been finding out whether it's the devil i answer your prayer now yes he is yes he is i know his signature everything cannot go wrong at once something is wrong somewhere and so it is important you acknowledge it and then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance not what is the mystery of prosperity what why am i not getting a job no job no money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you are on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no balm that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you too you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise shalakataya the day you lock your door, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this, you lock your door and say, I'm not going out until there is a change. I'm blasting tongues. The spirit of God, you will feel your tongues changing. You will know this is warfare prayer. You may not know what you are saying. Your mind is not fruitful. But at a point, your spirit, the anger of your situation is added to your prayer. You are not laughing, praying nonsense. You are thinking of who is calling. No. You are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm, one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how virtuous you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of god brothers and sisters victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit it didn't just happen you sit down there and allow satan to keep blackmailing what you represent every time you want to bless people people say don't trust benga i'm still suspecting him don't you know there are spirits that plant deception you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night 
before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and say who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go haywire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack there are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i mean this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family i just call you and off the phone you don't even know what happens some of you when the devil is about to buffet you the lord uses my face in your dreams here he comes shows up i tell you if you see me in your dreams start dancing i'm not a herbalist believe me it's a mystery god used the voice of eli to speak to samuel God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen. Don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and have a to my Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You miss your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting. I'd been praying. I'm practicing this principle but I knew that it's like there was a resistance a resistance and that night I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping all of a sudden I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down David Ipiome was sitting down close to him two men I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth territorial wealth and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project I was standing on the stage I could not stand very well it was shaking and afterwards I came and Oyeriko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on it his feet when i dropped it he said no there's still some more i put my hand i dropped everything and he laid hands on me somebody took me to a room i opened the room and i saw dollars i saw pounds i saw naira that was the beginning when that happened koinonia exploded like a charm there are mysteries you don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you dance for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will the universe you will everyone January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then 
they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy and he said sit down here let's eat I said I can never do this I've been trained to respect he said I said sit down and let's eat two of us sat on the ground and we were eating when I got up then January this one happened like 10 years ago January this year when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him and I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you. Walk in it. And he told me, Baba, like you tell somebody in Yoruba, go, you can go, I've opened the road. Brothers and sisters, this is how, this is what we call encounters. You don't know it. How many encounters have you had and you missed it? Because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit, the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly, then in the physical, two weeks, he's still moving alive, but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks, it's my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, he, anything can kill him because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You are the universe. You are shed it in on 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 teach you something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates I will be teaching you next week and then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence I don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. We, we, I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open. You are not praying to edify your spirit. No. 
every pending breakthrough it has been declared it's my season of trial I have seen it in dreams the Lord has confirmed it I should be blessed I'm not asking I know it it is a season pray pray koinonia it's a season of encounter with the anointing I cannot remain at this level of grace there is a dimension I have seen it he gave me a witness he gave me a witness It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You are the God. Every hiding must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You have the victor's love. Listen, we are praying. There are miracles. There are miracles that should have happened. Stop asking whether it's the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of victory. I call you for The visions of two more prayer points and we're done the bible says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow god has it now did you hear what i said now i want you to lift your voice and say now breakthrough now breakthrough now breakthrough not next week no not next miracle service now favor now favor now now anointed, now anointed, now grace. Pray, pray, now break through, now favor, 
stop bad news. I stop bad news. It's not a suggestion. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Have respect, oh God, to the covenant. I stop bad news. Listen, never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. If you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represents what God wants to happen in your life now, and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance
I decree and declare every power that closed your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a power. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here, behind Shadul, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now, catch up now, financially, catch up now, spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the chains that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of signs. God is a God of signs. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This is how to receive your portion. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how you receive what belongs to you. The devil will not give it willingly. No. You try getting a baby physically. It doesn't work. You go to the hospital. Doctors do their best. It doesn't work. You try and try. Let me tell you, when you try a thing once, twice, three times, it doesn't work. Just stop. Stop wasting your time. Stop immediately. The Bible did not tell us that one person was killed when Jericho fell. The people, the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless. Even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody. It was never about the sword. It was about victory. When the ark wins, you win. The only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there. Show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned Listen, unto me. The Bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning. 
that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended god saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones I've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look I want to talk to you about he helps you and say Jesus I've been waiting because Jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored 
for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. Listen, when you hear people testifying ah huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first 
not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh Forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh.
are soon going to pray. The Lord rejects Saul as a king and now looks at David but there was no priest to confirm what God wanted. The priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king. God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David. Samuel said, no, I still want Saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter. You saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping? Seeing that I have rejected Saul as king. Rise up, carry your horn. Go to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint the next king of Israel, paraphrasing. And David remained there. I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say, when will my change come? The change was in a negotiation between God. God already intended. In God's mind, this is the next king. And the king will sit with sheep and say, oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, the day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence. If that act will not go before us, I'm not going. No. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what i'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your message endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says, all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a God, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances 
that have been enshrined by occultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every chain listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain listen the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when jericho is down anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down listen i have seen anointed men and women of god people i know love god with all their heart but they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically they do everything and sometimes you wonder and say ah, look how great this brother is look how great this sister is is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it hallelujah listen people make all kinds of gifts for me as you can imagine people make all kinds of gifts and sometimes i see what people do and i'm shocked I say life is so unfair how can this brother this sister be this gifted and yet be begging and you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed they can even be sarcastic priesthood will make them take life for granted there is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow god allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him 
and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together i got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a, a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Yes. 
le prêtre pourrait le préparer. Et bon, ce qui va le Dieu, ce qui va le prêtre le prêtre pour le prêtre le prêtre pour le prêtre pour le prêtre pour le prêtre le prêtre pour le prêtre 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 le prê
why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy Hallelujah. 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 Please just just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just the Lord is giving me instructions. Just just be silent. Stand where you are. Um something is happening inside, outside, everywhere. The Lord is showing me something very strange. Now, um, let me just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something that looks like um, this thing people wear. What's the name? This thing that looks like a um, lady's thing that men wear. That, that looks like a... Yes, that, that thing. That's what I'm seeing on many people. And the Lord is telling me on everyone that I see that thing in. There is a very strange deliverance because that I'm hearing hidden glory. And I want to pray. Please, you don't, don't shout, don't do anything. Just let me flow. You start bringing those people out. I'm going to pray now for those group of people. I'm seeing it. Because I'm seeing that those people, no matter what you do, your glory is never seen. You will struggle and try. But nothing ever happens. Now in the name of Jesus... I stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an act bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacos Kapatariata and the Ketakas Kotariataji Brakatoka Tabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho, covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapata Katos Sabrakatalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's, let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals. But it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now. Know that God is visiting your family. Lord I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the Lord in the name of Jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they I decree and declare now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost Barakata. I don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory The Lord is still touching people. 
the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus pray now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now! Be free now! Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh. 
Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that? Please, let's let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia, who is that? Her eyes, Hamalama Nane Nana Matia. Her eyes, her eyes. Your name is Sephia. How about you, madam? The Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. Arise. I'll pray for all of you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver this lady now. This lady on red. I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone. For you, it's over now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Set free the Lord bring liberty. Liberty now. I command those altars to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Bad luck, bad luck. I take it out of your life. The spirit of, I'm seeing a lot of bad luck. I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed I want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola ola i don't know if that's the full name but there's ola o-l-a there's someone with that name Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with. Lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened. Yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be able well to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes. it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here jacques koto parakatia embreketoso bataria talikata anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now 
in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the Holy Ghost I command a separation now the spirit of Hades I speak to you the spirit of Hades Christ has triumphed over you oh death take away your sting take away your sting hallelujah there are a number of you here I presume you are all Ola including this gentleman on wheelchair that's your son that's your brother what happened to him what happened to him accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we are going to pray for the sick but I want to pray for Ola now just just stand bring for me the person I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now I'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like I'm holding the air but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now I command that destiny open open now open now open now open now in the name of Jesus hallelujah you came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry I'll pray for the sick sir if I'm if I don't talk are you a last sir no don't don't come out until I ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year June yes sir it's God that kept you I will pray for you I've seen your case already if I don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all my bad this is what I'm saying I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you come my dear this lady I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny I hold the hands of this lady and I declare right now in the name of Jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but I'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of Jesus I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life I command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you standing here my, my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do I'm a printer sir. you are a what printer, printer. nothing is working in your life I need to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I break this embargo I see upon your hand in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this row I'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what I'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ all right mama I know that it's not time to pray but I want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone Yes, yeah, so one of my uh, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The in my life, in my life must, end. must end. In 
Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, it's your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an slave. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord will destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into pieces the enemy. Next verse, 211. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind. And the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you're about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue. I will overtake my lust. My desire will fall upon the people of God. I want to pray. Listen. Deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down. It's, it's, it's bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated teeth and hither. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent like a word. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat. That shout is what you are about to do. But let me issue a command in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one whom I serve and whose I am, in the name of Jesus, I declare over every force in the spirit, the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of God's people as they shout this shout wherever they are, 
I command those spirits. He said, when they hear my voice, they will run out of their hiding. I command not only an exposition, but a total separation. Are you ready to shout Jesus? At the count of three. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment paparakato soto preketelekata every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit, it must be exposed as I pass you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I decree and declare right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every power, every force, every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you outside, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pass here right now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to come upon you. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just, just allow me pass. Be careful, be careful. Father, in Jesus' name, let it be over now. There is fire now. That fire is moving all across now. Shakatos koto barikata. Embreketa shataria tasubatia. In the name of Jesus, ordinances be broken now. I'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are. In the name of Jesus, let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Be free now. Let it be over now. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus Christ be free now in the name of Jesus as I'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to stand here right now in Jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now I came here because I know that there are so many of you. Look the crowd in this place. I want to pray for you. I'm standing here, my God. Look at the oppression that I see just standing here. I'm about to pray right now. And from the front to the back, from the left to the right, I want all of you to shout Jesus. Something is leaving people already. Are you ready now? Your destiny must be open. Please don't take it for granted. Bring them out now at the count of three. Overflow three. One, two. Three. Be free now. Be free now. In the name of Jesus, I command. My God, please help them. Jesus Christ, look what is happening here. From the front to the back, right now, anyone here under the siege of darkness, be free now. Be free now. Help them. Be free now. Lift your hands over flow three. I'm praying for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? There are many of you, you try to move forward, but a force keeps holding you. As you shout Jesus now, you're going to see something leave you. Are you ready? Father, all those who have been held captive, 
I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Go forward. I release you now. Delay broken. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to pray for everybody. But the Lord is saying there are some of you here. The call of God is upon your life. But there are altars fighting you. I'm about to release you. Oh God, I'm seeing 17. 1, 7. Where are they, oh God? Right now, to the back. Where are they? They have the call of God. But an altar of darkness. Tying down their lives. Mata soto pakaria kata. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising. No, even if you are the last born, I decree and declare, let that anointing find you now. Let that anointing find you now. The Joseph anointing, the Joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Overflow three. It's not about falling down, although there are several things happening here, but I want you to just focus. The last prayer I want to pray for you, many of you will be surprised what happens to you. Listen, I'm seeing keys, like a key that was missing. Some of you were once, you were destined for certain things, and the devil veered off your life. And as it is right now, the treasure that God gave you, you have lost it. As I pray for you, that restoration anointing is coming upon you. Some of you is anointings. Some of you is business connections. Lord, where are they? At the count of three. Let that fire come. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive that grace now. Restoration, fire, fire, fire. please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Shalabarokatosi anamalakashi. Shaprakatu celebrekati priyalama. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. 
I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her. This lady, that lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace for dreams and visions, the Lord is releasing it upon you. Great for dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to walk across this crowd. Please, I just want you to release your faith. Release your faith and receive something now. As I walk through, I'm seeing altars and they are living right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be deliverance right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Let that fire. As I move, oh God, let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. 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 Shabbos kata. Sheketes kalabra katoziata kata. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe as I'm passing you. Don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now. Now. Over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here. And the Lord is saying, restoration of ministerial anointing. A circle. Lord, where are they? There are people here, at least four of you. I stretch my hands. Let the anointing locate you. The call for ministry. The call for ministry. The call. Parakato Sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter that level. That's what I hear in the spirit. Enter. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is is it victory or victoria? I'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria. Who is that? Please, very quickly, want to pray for the sick now. It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue. Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away. Right now, be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in with Victoria again. All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Please, everyone, open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension. Enter a new dimension now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I'm passing here now. There is an anointing. Move, move to the next level. I'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing. Step into a new dimension. I release that grace now. 
I release that grace now. I stretch my hands. Everything that has held you down, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. My God, look at this. Are you seeing? The legs are rotting completely. In the name of Jesus, be free now. I command be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Go home and write it. Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shaba Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasiketelikata. Jekros Kadabalako Tesianabahasia. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing. I have called you. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My call is upon your life. Stop fighting. My call is upon your life. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. My call is upon your life. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. That's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder. And the Lord is saying, it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed that grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Hallelujah. Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil. A bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice. Not only in the area of finances, but a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick, but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man, come. Come. You and this guy, two of you, come stand. Step into a new dimension. New dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. This guy, just lift your hands where you are. Come. Enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly 
there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 i bring you out of the cage that i see you in i bring you out of the cage i bring you out of the cage i see you inside a cage i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus by fire i bring you out i bring you out ancestry will not fight you i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus christ we are soon going to pray for the sick where's where's your wife where is she the lord is saying the powers will fight no more come the powers will fight no more 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 there are ordinances fighting this family i see it in the spirit the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus victory is established the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus and he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there in the name of jesus christ this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ 
confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify I don't care whether the resources are there or not I stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing by the Spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of Jesus make it happen cameraman come I want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in Amen. you believe what I'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of Jesus Christ this lady you come the Lord is saying I'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach I lay my hands upon you I'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through I command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, God will grant grace pastor Lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. By faith, believing. 
that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Endakato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subriash. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate prandakata barakatosh. Eketo kaparokata bariataba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate, legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah! 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 Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name, the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the Aaronic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
Please lift your hands. Let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up. Every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life, shame and reproach, some of you is a pattern across your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever. Be rolled over your life forever. Be rolled over your life forever. Hallelujah. I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life. Supernatural grace for speed in life. Supernatural grace for speed in life. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that every garment, he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment. Every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck, attracting all kinds of things. The Bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I tear off that garment from your life. I tear off that garment from your life. Garment of reproach. I tear it off from your life. I tear it off from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare divine direction. Lord, what do I do? Where do I go to? Tonight, by dreams and visions and strange encounters, I provoke divine direction to come to your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye not doors, ancient doors. I come against every ancient door and every gate. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Every help up that must arise tonight, not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus, I direct their eyes to you. I say it again. Whoever has what it takes to help you, I direct their hearts to you. The same mystery that bound Jonathan and David, I declare, wherever your helper is, let it be as it were for Jonathan and David. In the name of Jesus Christ, all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you, speak for you. hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry 
it's not like you don't love God but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your Bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of Jesus Christ I launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the Lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ i don't know what personal request you desire from god but i release my faith with you and i declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of jesus christ anyone here trusting god for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some canal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you 
not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you